is driving 60 miles per hour on the road. How many miles can she go in an hour? Why is it, how do you know she can go 60 miles? Huh? Exactly. So you right there have used physics. You did some calculations in your head and you can predict. And so when you get really good, you can also figure out there's certain things like I have to drive 120 miles to Lake Placid. How long would it take me to drive 120 miles to Lake Placid? Anybody? Two hours. Why is it two hours? Exactly. And so that's what physics is doing. It's a lot of math, it's a lot of calculations, and you can do it with archery. So when you look at your bow, it may be, uh, is there writing on the lower limb of that bow, any type of writing? Uh, there's no writing. But there. typically, most bows that you have on the lower limb, remember this is the upper and this is the lower limb, there's usually a writing that comes on the lower limb and it says something like 65 pounds, 35 pounds, 45 pounds. What that means, it tells you how much strength and how much pressure is on this bow in order to pull back. So if it's, so which one's gonna be hard to pull back? If it's 65 pounds or 35 pounds? Raise your hand. David, which one's gonna be harder to pull, 65 or 35? 65 is gonna be tough. Just think about it if you're like weightlifting. Choo, 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 choo. Because I'm like the king of all weightlifting. I can like lift <laughs> five pounds and stuff like that. And so if if you're with weightlifting, every single one of y'all probably can lift 25 pounds. But if you want to get stronger and if you put keep adding pounds and you can't add like 25, 50, 75, you have to exert more energy. It's the same way with archery. But the, it's a little bit reciprocal which arrow is going to fly the fastest? The one that is shot by 35 pounds or 65 pounds and why? Uh, one more time your name? Nally. If this bow was 35 pounds, 65 pounds, the arrow is going to fly faster with which poundage? Why is that? What, what made you think that? Yeah. You know, Chris? More, more force is being exerted. Exactly. So the more poundage that is with this bow, the quicker it actually flies. So if you see that bow right here, and then y'all also had the reoccur bow. Do y'all remember it? Seeing it? So if you have this bow, this bow has less poundage than this bow. So therefore, this bow is going to have less pressure. So which one is going to be the most accurate? Which one is most accurate? Why is that one more accurate? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Huh? Now we're gonna go. Oh, the parents, y'all wanna go. It's not throwing light, man. I'm gonna keep talking. So. <laughs> My hair. My hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't just.